one, Dougie. Good morning, or actually, it's afternoon, guys, uh, on July the 30th of the Duck Adventure. Um, this morning, we had a crazy morning here. Um, I'm, not, I'm taking today off. I'm actually doing nothing. My body is absolutely wiped out, but I successfully got all the ducks in the pen this morning. It was a crazy morning here. What happened was, I got up on my normal crazy 5 a.m. The ducks came into the yard at 5.18. They actually beat me, but we had, uh, oh, hang on guys, I got a, I had a spider web on my camera there. Um, we had a predator that was coming in after the ducks from the swamp, but they were actually in the yard here, and Doug did an amazing thing. I didn't have my glasses on, which I should have this morning, but I'm supposed to be working on the pen, and I said to myself, I'm not gonna film anything until I'm finished the pen, but what happened was, I came out of the back uh, door with Doug. He came out here and actually where he's standing right now, he was right there and the ducks were all around him. Then all of a sudden, he just put his head up, similar to what he's doing right now. Well, he's gonna relax right now. But what happened was, is he ran down, actually I'll move here so you can see, to the big uh, post. He was down there and then all of a sudden, he just took a hard left. His fur went up instantly and he bolted across here down to the sign, the, uh, the please like and share right there. He bolted through there and all I heard was smashing bushes, uh, like breaking trees. I went after him, I had the shotgun with me. I went after him, we went down in the, I went through the bush. He was over my neighbor's property and it was like early morning, you know, the light is so bad and it's really hard taking a shot. So like I was really, I didn't want to shoot with Doug running through the bush because you never know. And I was watching the trees on my neighbor's side and I saw Doug go by. And then I saw another thing flash by going the opposite direction. And then Doug reappeared going in that direction. So he was chasing something. I don't know what it was, but I, you know, it could have been just like that other day when I said, you know, I thought I saw something on the ramp, but I didn't hear anything. And it was that flash, it was the same type of thing. So something that's really fast, is, was here waiting at the edge of the bush and Doug saw it and like while well, he was going down to the swamp with his head up I guess he got a bit of a whiff of it and then when he caught the sight of it and he took off I wish I would have had the pivot heads on guys because I'm not kidding you he was moving so quick that I bet you the pivot heads couldn't have focused that's how fast he was moving it was pretty epic ducks are all upset at me but they're not getting out because I'm going to break Oh, I'm gonna to try to break this thing, uh, the nighttime thing. Sorry, ducks, but I'm out here to give you a fresh water right now. I'm gonna change the water in the bathtub. I changed it this morning. I'm not letting them out today. I got an edit to do, and I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm, my back is sore, my arms are sore. I couldn't figure out why I was in so much pain this week, specifically my hamstrings, because I'm seizing up when I'm, uh, um, when I'm working and I'm sitting and I get these cramps and it's not uh, 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 Charlie horses, they're, they're muscle cramps and I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, it turns out this week I've been uh, doing my garden. I've been doing some weeding in my garden, getting things uh, straightened out and uh, you know just doing my gardening stuff. Being bent over, I've been doing about an hour a day and I did like four days in a row, because that's, big. I'm almost done actually. It's ridiculous how little weeding you gotta do when everything's covered in straw. But my hamstrings were getting cramped up and yesterday when I was doing my parsnips, that's when I realized that's why I'm in so much pain. So I'm uh, <laughs> I'm doing the, uh, the the weeding and giving my back, you know, and my, my hamstrings a workout and then I'm doing all this hard physical labor, you know, uh, shoveling gravel and digging everything. Oh, they want out bad. You're not getting out, Dutch, I'm sorry. Not today. One day locked up isn't gonna kill you. I'm gonna leave them uh, locked up today. But I'm gonna get some water happening here for these little guys. They're waiting to get out. It was really cool here this morning, so I didn't let anybody out. So we're gonna let these guys out. Look at them waiting. They went out bad. <laughs> Let us out! Right away! Okay, soon. Job. No, we're not letting the ducks out. I gotta get the water hopping and we'll let these guys out. I've actually had to give uh, Doug the inflammatories uh, three days this week. Um, 
you know, we know, anybody that's been watching the show, you know he had a bad shoulder when I adopted him. Well, this week, both his shoulders uh, are sore. I think it's just the sheer workload. It, it, like the dog, I can't believe how hard he's working. He, he's blowing me away. He's not the same dog as he was last year. Not even, not even remotely close, actually. He's, uh, he's a serious working dog, and he's a big cuddle monster. So I got the best of both worlds. <laughs> he's, a, he's my little lovey dog at night, and during the day, he uh, protects the ducks for me. You couldn't ask for much more, actually. All right, little ducks. Are you going to come out right away, aren't you? Not even going to give you a chance to get this hooked. All right, I got it hooked here just in time. Come on. Hello, little ducks. Come on out. It's nice out. The sun's beating on the front of the barn. Here's not doing the best, guys. I, I got a hunch I'm going to have to do some action. Uh, midget duck is starting to grow. A little bit of a growth spurt actually uh, the last uh, week. Actually almost doubled in size the last week. Still a really small duck though. And then we've got that one lame duck in here that uh, walks in the back of its legs. Uh, here it comes out. It walks uh, basically on its knees to its feet. These little cute things. Oh, look at them. In the water. Playing. Alright, let's go see snapping turtle duck. And speaking of snapping turtles, Last week when we had that little duck that I found with the guts hanging out the, uh, the stomach ripped out. Yesterday uh, when I was digging down in the pen, when I was doing my hardcore uh, back breaking labor. Uh, we got a little wild duck outside the pen waiting. Come on out, what are you doing inside? You probably didn't hear that, but I basically said, come on out, what are you doing inside? Oh, no ducks, you're not coming in. Out of me. Yeah, so, snap and turtle duck. I'll show you what happened here before we go into the barn. I think that little wild duck is uh, not too worried about me. Relax, duck. Your friends are uh, can't come out to play today. So I was putting in the drain pipe here hardcore work, hardcore work, and I heard the ducklings down at the creek losing it, and I was, you know, down just working away, I had the rifle close by, I actually had the rifle and the shotgun close by, I see a bunch of ducks in the water right there, playing away, you know, doing their thing, and this, the, you know, this one duck losing it, which, it happens all the time, you know, they start playing with each other. You know, and one duck's got to be a whiner, it always happens, so it kept going on, it kept going on, I'm digging away. And I, you know, I heard it was, you know, kept going on and the, I kept looking down and the ducks weren't getting out of the water. It was like everything was fine. They were playing away. Then all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed the ducks all got out of the water and they all started coming towards the, uh, the yard. And then I, I, I could see just a glimmer of some water flapping around and I, then I thought there was their wings fighting. So I knew right away it was a snapping turtle, had a duck. So I grabbed the rifle, I ran down there thinking, you know, because I'm going to just empty the gun underneath the duck. You know, the duck's getting torn apart by the snapping turtle. If I just shoot, you know, at a good angle, right below the duck, I can hit the snapping turtle. So by the time I got down there, the duck was like 10 feet out uh, of the water, walking with his guts hanging out, and there was no sign of the snapping turtle. The water was too murky, couldn't see anything. So I came back here to work, you know, I, well, I took care of the, the, the poor little duck and, you know, I had to give it the axe medicine and I actually buried it uh, in, the, in over here, actually, where I had the big hole with the uh, drainage pipe. So then I'm working away and I see the ducks going back down there again. So I thought, I'm going down with the rifle right now. So I ran down there with the rifle with the ducks. There was about 40, 50 ducks in the water. I stood there for an hour and a half, guys. I just said, I'm staying here. And so I was, I actually used the target down there as a rest. I was leaning against the target. It, felt, it was forever, and I was waiting and waiting, I because I knew the snapping turtle was there. It was just a matter of time before he grabbed the duck, and sure enough, he grabbed the duck. And wouldn't you know it, I'm, I'm there ready with the rifle, 
in the same spot that the duck got attacked before, thinking, you know, the, the duck's going to get, you know, he's going to get, you know, a snapper turtle hanging onto it, and I'm going to be able to get a shot off and, and shoot underneath the duck and, you know, end this snapping turtle thing. Snapping turtle attacks a duck 50 feet down the creek. And I'm like, by the time I got down close enough to it, which was really difficult because where the, the turtle had got the duck, I couldn't walk. Uh, the, it was that floating vegetation, and I couldn't get close enough to get a proper angle shot because I needed to shoot down to, towards the duck underneath it, not on a sharp angle because I wanted to make sure that I, you know, I'm going to get the, the turtle. So I never got a shot off on the turtle. And another thing too is that this turtle's got to be a big one because he didn't have the duck feet, he had feathers. Because when the duck took off, I could see feathers coming up from underneath the water. I guess he was spitting the feathers out in his mouth. I fired a bunch of rounds off exactly where the feathers came up, but you know, I, I don't think I got it. So there's, we got a, we got a big, big snapping turtle that you know is big enough that he's hanging on to the back ends of the ducks. Like he's not grabbing feet. He's actually grabbing the uh, the rear end of the duck, but they want out. But they're not getting out today. It's not a hot day. It's only like 24 degrees, so they're not going to overheat here. But they're not getting out. I'm gonna, uh, keep them up. Okay, let's go check that uh, barn. Oh, I see it walking around. Okay, it's walking better, but it's got one screwed up foot, guys. Yeah, you can just see it right there. It's a hurting duck. I'm thinking its foot is seriously screwed up. But it was so maddening. I was standing there waiting. I said, I'm gonna get you, duck. Snap and turtle. I was standing there waiting and waiting, and then he attacks the ducks like 50 feet down the creek from me. How are you doing? No, not the best. Oh, he is. Oh, his foot's so screwed up. Well, we'll keep you in the uh, the nursery here and see what happens. No dead ducklings, guys. We're doing good here. I cleaned it out yesterday in here. Did a, a partial cleaning, not a complete cleaning. Oh, I got to turn the water off. I got the water running in the tub. Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to do my edit and I'm going to uh, take it easy today. My body's telling me to take a, a day off. I'm really close to uh, finishing the leveling so that uh, I can do the braces and the wire but I didn't realize how hard the leveling was. Brutal work. And the thing is, couldn't have done it with equipment. It uh, had to, It's a job that had to be done by hand just because of the way everything's laid out. Couldn't do it with equipment, unfortunately. Yeah, I got the water running right now. He wants into the pen so bad. No, Dougie, you can't. We've got too many ducks in there. For you to run around in there, it would just freak them right out because like right now there's like, whoa, I'm trying to think here. 700, 750 plus the, there's like probably 820 ducks in the pen. Far too many, but it's only for one day. Tomorrow I'll let them out and we'll try to get them into this morning routine, back to normal. And I'll show you what I got to do uh, left here, which tomorrow I'm going to attack. Like I said, I'm body arrest today. So I've got to level this out, uh, and that's it. And then I can do the braces, but I've got it all leveled out from the gate, out of the other side of the gate entrance. This is uh, this is actually an easy job, what I've got to do here. That over there was not easy. It was absolutely, I couldn't believe how rough uh, the train was, and to get it level enough for the wire, yeah, I've got this, uh, it's all ready. The wire will go down. Actually, you know, the crazy part is, is all of this is really hard work, but it makes the wire part so much faster because I'll be able to uh, basically cut the wire to length in the driveway, bend it, pre-bend it all, and then bring it down here and it'll just fall into place and wire staple it and it'll be done. And then, you know, multiple loads of gravel to put on top of the wire, but this is going to make it a lot easier and, and it's sections too it's not like i have to do 100, 100 feet out of time or 78 feet stretches because of the way the the property uh, the grade of the property is going to be in sections so it's not going to be uh, a brutal job like i can do it by myself which i'm now <laughs> totally accepting because i'm having no luck uh, getting people here i can't believe it. they put ads on you know on the, on the online classified you know they're looking for work and then you know they don't want to work i don't know 
So I'll just keep whittling away at it myself. So, but today, they're in the pen. They're not liking it. But hey, it's only for a day. I'll let them out tomorrow morning. We'll have an official rush tomorrow. They got lots of water. I'll keep changing the water. I'll keep coming out every couple hours and change the bathtub water. But they can rest and sleep the day away. It won't hurt them. And maybe, you know, the predator will show itself. Doug's watching the uh, swamp like he's been doing. He knows there's something here. Well, he keeps seeing it and going after it. So I think that's why uh, Doug's liking the 5 a.m. thing, is because he's getting a chase uh, happening. Because I know when he, that time that he uh, spotted the coyote running through the yard, after that, he was gung-ho to come outside all the time. Doug likes a good chase. <laughs> and once he uh, gets to experience a chase, he uh, he's pretty well focused after that. And right now he's focused on the swamp. Except, <laughs> except guys, if I leave the garage door open or the back shed door open, the dog is in sleeping. He's a slacker. Uh, but if he doesn't uh, have the ability to slack in the shade I, as, or on a co cold concrete floor, he works. Like he's doing right now. All right, I'm going to go do my edit and then come out here and do some duck chores later. And sort of relax and get ready for tomorrow. Big day. Uh, get the, uh, the the remaining leveling done and do the braces and start getting ready for the wire. We're getting closer. Look at this dog. He's been going all over the house looking for different things. He's uh, enjoying his day off. Doug, you have done nothing today except sleep. Lucky dog. Are you tired? Are you looking? I'm just gonna go out and fill the feeder up. I've uh, I've done an edit. I haven't done nothing, nothing. I wish I could have done nothing. Um, it's going to feel nice to sleep in tomorrow with the ducks in lockdown, though. But Doug has, well, he slept in the living room for a little while. Then he came out here, then went back in the living room, then came back out here. But he's done nothing all day. I've done an edit and sort of goofed around, but I think tomorrow I'll feel better. I'll do some pen work and uh, get back into the groove. I needed to do nothing today. We'll see. Tomorrow when I wake up, because the ducks are in lockdown, I've been going out every three hours and changing their water and... And like I said, I'm just going out now to fill their feeders, so they might be in lockdown for another day. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. I'm uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this downtime right now because the last, I think it's been like what, 10 days, seven days, they've been doing this five in the morning thing to me. Um, plus, you know, trying to get everything else done here in the pan and the garden. Um, I, they killed me. It's bottom line, they killed me, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm burnt right out. Got some upset ducks, guys. Uh, they're really, really upset, actually. They're, uh, well, one, their, their wild friend is still sitting outside here uh, by the pen. The little wild female, she's been hanging around here all day. The Canada geese came in, but because the gate of the pen was closed, they couldn't go for a snack. But you gotta look at this, there's a bunch of kids staring out the window. They're all at this end of the pen, looking at the uh, lake. I know, ducks, this is new to me. But it's only temporary. Look at this, they're upset, staring. Hey, what's going on here? Why can't we go? It's 7.30, so this is exactly the time they would be on the lake by now, playing. More and more are coming down here. They just don't like this. This is unacceptable. Look at this. That's a mess of ducks, guys. And my quick calculation off the top of my head, with the breeders, there's probably like about 820, 810 ducks there. Pen's far too small for that, but it's only uh, maybe tomorrow, one more day of lockdown, just to see if I can break this habit of theirs going down there at night. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm planning on doing pen work tomorrow after my big recharge day today, and actually Dougie had a bigger recharge than me. He's, he's just moseying around the yard like it's like, oh, I'm so chilled, man. I didn't have to work today, which he didn't. He slept all day, which the dog really needed to. He, uh, I just had to check the fence there. Um, he's been working really hard, unbelievably hard, actually. 
He's been uh, absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of him. Doug, you've been doing just a fantastic job. And the fact, you know, that we haven't seen, well, I haven't seen or found any kill sites, any, any clumps of feathers in the swamp, nothing, tells me that Doug's been doing a really good job. Well, just watching him work, guys. Like, he, I, I actually see him working, except if I leave the garage door open, and then he disappears and slacks it. But, hey, he's a kid, really, in the big picture. All right, I got to come up with supper, and I'm shutting it down for the night, guys. I can't believe it. It's like 7.30, and my day's over. This is the earliest it's been. It's been so long, I don't remember, uh, you know, being over at 7.30. It's, it's actually, I'm a little bit lost what I'm going to do for the next hour and a half two hours to my normal quitting time. All right, it's official guys. Coyote's uh, here. I guess uh, one day lock up. He's hungry. He just was in the yard. Doug was barking and I was in the living room and uh, I came up here. I had the rifle and I he was in the back corner. I've got to, uh, oh, I gotta get this pen done so I can get the uh, lighting done. But he was right there in the dark. And all I could see was his red of his eyes with the, uh, the red light on my, my rifle. Now I aimed at the red eyes, which is a bad shot because I'm, you know, you're aiming at just a head in the dark, which is really a tough shot to pull off. Now here's the crazy part. I went down there. I just got back with the shotgun. I went around, did a perimeter check, to see if there's any blood. Um, it smelled like cat urine. It had a really musty smell over there. I don't know uh, if he pissed himself or what, but the most bizarre, musty, it smelled like an old tomcat smell, uh, urine smell. Ducks are relaxed now, but they were freaked right out. But uh, Doug was just losing it. I had to actually lock him in the other bedroom while I was uh, doing this because he was just freaking right out. He wanted to go out there and chase it. Right now, he's sitting right beside me at the sliding door here, wanting to go on the roof to get outside. So I, I did get a shot off. I aimed at the two red glowing eyeballs, and I don't know if I scared them or what, but oh man, it just reeks down at the other end of the pan. And not a normal smell that is normally here. Well, maybe tomorrow morning, he'll be back. I'll be waiting for him. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show.